Hey guys, good morning. It is Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire and today we are fishing uh, Southeast Georgia, Northeast Florida area, St. Mary's River, uh, which is where I normally fish. Uh, if you guys hadn't been watching me, you know where it's located. Uh, that's where it is. The um, thing we're going to be doing today, we're going to fish live bait. I'm going to be talking about how to fish live bait, live shrimp, uh, and how it's done in this area of the country and uh, really along a lot of places on the east coast. So let's look at live bait fishing today. I'm going to be using live shrimp. And it is a beautiful morning out here. Let's go. I got an outgoing tide starting like right now. Let's get out there. All right, guys, I've got to my spot. I have got a float rig that I'm using. It is a bobber stopper right here, a float, a bead, a weight, and a leader down to my hook, okay? I've got a braided line and this is monofilament line. So this is what I'm using. Um, I've got a video about that if you want to go back and learn more about how that works. I'm going to put on a live shrimp. If you're going to live bait fish, whether it's shrimp or mud minnows or whatever it is you're using, you need to have a uh, live well with a bubbler, an aerator, so you can keep them alive because you want them to be really lively. I take the hook, I stick it in right where the horn is on his head. That's how I do it. Uh, you can you can stick it through the tail. You can stick it through the mouth. There's a lot of different ways that people do that. That's the way I like to do it. And I find a place that is, has shallow water with deep water nearby, some kind of ledge. Like right here is a hump with a ledge, or a flat with a ledge. Trout like ledges close to shallow water. They like pretty water. The water's really clear today for here. And uh, that's what I look for. I throw this out. We have a lot of current here on the east coast in northeast Florida, southeast Georgia. Um, and so you take one of these bobbers, you throw it out there and you let it drift with the current through these places that have uh, that have humps uh, that have drop-offs stuff like that and you're presenting the shrimp in a natural way it's just floating along with how the shrimp are naturally going how the baits naturally flowing and we'll see if we can get us some trout all right, I fished there about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, you're fishing with live bait. If the fish are there and they're eating, they're gonna hit that. So, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time sitting there. I'm not gonna wait on them. I'm gonna go to another spot and I'm gonna keep going to spots until I find some active fish. Either they're just not in that spot. I mean, I see some bait, but I, the fish aren't feeding or the fish aren't there. So, don't mess around, it's live bait. If they're eating, they're gonna eat it. So, go to your next spot. All right, same kind of spot. I got a ledge and a flat to my left, a channel to my right. another good spot to try anywhere where you've got a nice area of a fairly decent size flat at least 20 or you know about 20 yards maybe 30 yards 10 yards you need a little bit of space there that's a shallow water there's a bunch of oyster uh, beds through here on my left so we'll try this a little bit. Again, 10, 15 minutes. If I don't get a bite, move to my next spot. 
and I'll just throw this thing out. I'll just throw this float out and let it drift and let it drift, you know, as long as I can see it good or I got enough line, I'll let it go. And you can adjust the depth of how deep you want that sinker because you want the shrimp to be a lot sometimes you want the shrimp right on the bottom kind of dragging sometimes you want it suspended up you have to kind of adjust the depth to find out but if it's two feet of water you can't have the sinker three or four feet deep it's just going to be dragging on the bottom there's no reason to have a float in all right this is my third spot i've moved to first cast i catch this trout so, not a big trout, but there's fish there. Okay, there he is, a little speckled trout. So, I know there's fish here. I told you if they're there, they're gonna hit, you know, they'll hit a live bait. They're just, they're going to, that's what they eat all day long. That's it, you don't have to fool them. Uh, you just have to present it to them where they can get to it. Um, this is the same kind of spot. I got a flat to my left, all that in there, it's flat, shallow, and right behind me is where the ledge is. Same kind of spot. The trout like the, they like fast water because this, this current takes the like with the current they know where the bait's going the current sweeps the shrimp and stuff into certain locations and the trout know to be there they you know i'm going to be here i'm going to wait for the bait and that's what they're doing and then if you're fishing you know north florida south georgia south carolina whatever you know this kind of fishing if you throw somewhere and you catch one you throw right back in the same spot because there may be a school of fish there. Especially once you get into the spring and you get into the summer, they'll really start schooling up because the shrimp are in schools. The shrimp are schooled up. So the trout like to get together and, uh, you know, they go after this bait. So if you can find the bait, you'll find the fish. So I always throw right back in the same spot more than once. I'm letting it float back there where I got that last bite. And I might get a bite, I might not. But I always do that. And you can see how fast this current's going. It's, it's floating it back there pretty quick. You have to make sure you got plenty of line. You got to make sure your line doesn't get real bowed out and loose and everything. You want to be as close in contact with that cork as or that float as you can. All right, here's fish number two. About the same size, a touch better. But so far, the two fish have been out on the ledge, not up on the flat. All right. Not setting the world on fire, but I am catching some trout I've had some bites I've had to kind of move around here see when I caught that fish right off you know that kind of told me I needed to kind of take some time here because at least you know there's fish and at some point you know I'm gonna have some bait move through or I'm gonna have you know something's gonna happen it's gonna trigger these fish and what I'm hoping is that they'll school and I'll get to where I can just catch one right after the other. But right now, it's just kind of a slow go.
Another one. There you go. Pecking away at them. a little better one that one's just about a keeper it can be 14 inches in Georgia not in Florida but that's close so this tide changes pretty quick you know it keeps dropping keeps dropping it's dropped a lot just since I've been here fishing and the more it drops the more it kind of changes where the fish are going to be located so I think I kind of have them located now Let's see, you know, when the tide gets a certain way, current gets a certain way, and it concentrates them in a certain spot. That's what you want. There it went. Missed it. And I'm going to let it float, because if it's a trout, a lot of times they won't get the shrimp. They'll let it go. If you let it float a little bit more, it'll come back and get it again, or another trout will get it. All right, see if I can get it right back in that spot. But when they start now, you can just catch them, you know, you, you'll catch one on every cast just about. That's what I like about this kind of fishing. It's really fun. I don't have to cast as much. You know, you don't have to cast and reel and cast and reel and cast and reel and cast and reel. And cast and reel. You know, you can let the bait kind of soak a little bit and float down through there. So you're kind of saving your, kind of saving your shoulders and arms and not just wearing yourself out. better than no trap. So, today, you know, this is not what I would consider a good day of fishing. Uh, but I caught probably eight or ten trout. And, uh, you know, on a day that I would look at and say, well, that wasn't very good. On my good days, you know, I mean, to me, a good day is when you catch 20 or 30. Uh, in my opinion, you know, that, that's a good day of fishing, you know, at least 15. So, uh, you know, this is not a good day, but you can see that we've caught, you know, we caught fish. Um, you know, we got a, a location there where we, you know, caught them all in a certain amount of time. I didn't really fish that long. So, uh, you know, that's why, why I like to do this. Like there's a lot of guys, they'll fish with, uh, you know, jigs and stuff like that. And they'll, you know, have them catch three or four fish and, you know, say, oh, I had a good day. I caught three or four fish. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that because they like to fish with jigs. They don't want to buy the minnow, you know, they don't want to buy the mud minnows. They don't want to buy shrimp, you know, or they don't want to go out and throw a cast net and all the stuff that you have to do if you want to get it yourself because you can get it yourself. You can't get your bait yourself. Um, so they don't want to do all that. They just want to go out and they think it's more sporting and that kind of thing. And that's fine. Uh, but, you know, most people when they go out, they want to catch as many fish as they can catch. And to me, this is your best shot to do that. So if you're not, uh, you know, if you're not from here, you're visiting here uh, on the East Coast, this is a, a good, um, 
a good way to start fishing, a good way to learn what you're doing, a good way to catch fish and not just have to be an expert on everything. Um, so you can go back, you can watch a lot of my other videos and see more specifically what I did. But, you know, I mainly wanted to show you guys and explain to you why uh, I use live bait and, you know, show you a little bit about fishing it. And like I said, if you want more detail, you can see some of my other videos. So thanks for watching guys. And uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure you know you get it. You subscribe and, and watch my other my older videos because there are tons of them where I catch a lot of fish. So uh, and like I said, today's not one of them, but it's still a good day. So you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire.